We've got a house on a golf course today. I'm showing you what's going on there. You got a hotel, so you can have guests and friends in. There's a driving range right over here. And here's the Brightleaf Golf Resort. Now I'm gonna confirm, but I believe this is the official golf course for the um, Mercer County High School kids and also Campbellsville University, which is a big deal. They're buying up everything. They're lots of jobs, lots of new, everything that a university brings in. Anyway, we're gonna be turning right up here, right where they're building this new house on the corner. It's absolutely beautiful. You're just a mile or two back to uh, Walmart and Harrodsburg and lots of shopping, and then you're probably five, six miles up here, and you'll be in Danville, building a house there. This house that we're going to look at today is only seven years young, so that's a cool thing. Very nice neighborhood, of course. It's on the golf course. Now, do you like golf? Maybe you do, maybe you don't, but maybe your in-laws do. This is a multi-generational house. So Pin Oak Terrace right here, that takes you right on out to the barn and the front nine. No heavy trucks. I think I gotta turn this way. I, I was here earlier. Look at that pretty one. There's a lot of ponds. There are the, the uh, fairways right there. This house isn't on the golf course, but it's on the golf course. Does that make sense? No, it makes no sense whatsoever, Brad. It's not on the golf course, but you can see it from there. So you're not paying any dues or anything. Right there's the house right there. There's a great pond in the backyard. And you got a view over that. In fact, it's partly owned. It's like a partial ownership or a co-op or something like that. Look at this baby. You're gonna love to see how close you are to this 27 hole Walter Hagen golf course. All right, let's come on in. Okay. So we got two car garage here, obviously you can see that, right? This house, usually the houses are really wide in the front and shallow. Well, this one's really deep and you'll see all the stuff downstairs. There's a great thing, including a golf cart and a lawnmower garage. I just got a call. So where was I? Oh, the garage down below. Yeah, I mean, use it for your golf cart. So you just shoot right on down here. You saw me come in. So what is it, half a mile or something like that? And you're right on the links. And then there are a couple little roads that go off as well and you can just jump on if you wanna hit some balls or whatever. I know they have great rates here and it's not private or anything like that. So you can jump right in, have some fun. It's just multi-generational. So maybe mom or dad likes to golf. They could live here with you guys, save a lot of money. Anyway, great porch. There is a safe room underneath here, which I'm going to show you. Big high ceilings, etc., cetera, etc. Cetera. I gotta open up all the windows. Hold on. Okay, take two, or maybe take three. So, what do we see here? Um, beautiful hardwood floors, beautiful oak, white oak, and that's nice. Super high ceilings. You've got, I guess, nine foot ceilings in most of the house. And then there's 10 foot ceilings in other parts. They've got a lot of blinds, a lot of blinds. I don't have any blinds in my house. So I walked in and I go, wow, there's a lot of blinds. So anyway, I opened what I could. I can't open them all, but the house is really, feels open and bright. So just work with me here, okay? Great chair rail. And then these frames here, love these. I'm gonna show you some of the other rooms first before I take you to the living room. This is being used as a nursery. Heck, you could use this as an office or a, a bedroom or whatever. You got a big, beautiful closet. Has seven years old. Probably said that already. I don't like those seams here. Let's see if I can cover that up. Still got the tag on here. It's like mini pearl or something. Made by mini pearl. Okay. Oh, wow. These people are way too organized. Like, what the heck is this all about? Good Lord, they got small kids. Those kids are awesome. Way better than my kids, I can tell you that. Can you imagine a kid's closet like that? Okay, yeah. All right. Are you with me? Yeah. We'll just walk on this side 
and take a look at what we got going on here with the bedrooms. You got a full bath here with real marble. That's the real deal. Pocket door. That's nice. You have a little privacy and a fantastic shower. Another bedroom. So that's bedroom number two. I don't really know how many bedrooms there are. I'll put it here. Ken, Ken usually gives me this thing to uh, print it out so that I can walk in with it, the cheat sheet. I don't have that. I can look on my thing here, but that wouldn't be any fun because I'd have nothing to talk about. So there you go. There's the pond and the golf course. I mean, like right there. More organizational strategies here. God, what talent. Maybe they could come and train my kids. I got two teenage boys. I don't have to tell you any more about that. This goes right on out to a deck out here. I'll show it to you. Got gas fireplace here. Look how nice they keep this place. Look at this. They even got the, the thing from the builder still on here. Like serious. So no maintenance deck. It's even got the, the Trex uh, ballast rod here and everything on the top and the bottom. Yeah, I might as well show you this. I know it's a little crazy. You're like, what in the world is going on down there? They've got one of those pools, you know, I, I call them the pools. That's what we had for years and years. You, there's like a blue plastic bag. You just lay it down, you put the water in and it comes up all by itself and they work. We love them. That lasts about three years. And then I get my cleanup crew to come take it. I say, here, you can have the pool. It's still fine. And then we just buy a new one. So it's a really good, efficient way to have pool fun for your family for like, what, what are they? Three, $400, maybe 300 bucks. So for three years, you get out of it. And that's what they have here. So they take it in because they're neat nicks, right? You saw the closets and everything. They take it in every year. You got to wash them out, dry them out, and then you can uh, put them up. So that's cool. And then you got a little deck and we'll go down there. I'll show you all that stuff. Pretty, right? Can you imagine just sitting out here at night? It's great. Now that is like... A big ass fan there, but it's not big ass brand. I don't think. I don't know. I'll have to check it out. And no, I'm not cussing. I'm not talking dirty. That's a big company around here. Big ass fan company. And of course, their mascot is a donkey. Yeah. And they're very successful and they make a great product. And it's big fans for big industrial buildings and things like that. Or if you're just really cool. So anyway, that's a really big one. It's got to be. 60 or 72 inches. That will move some air. Speaking of which, I want to tell you a little bit about this. While we look at the kitchen, you are going to be able to see what you're going to be able to see. Look at the corbels, beautiful. This is real marble with an OG finish um, or granite. I, I don't know the difference, marble and granite. But um, something I wanted to tell you is the things you can't see about this house. It's got a geothermal system. So if you're familiar with geothermal system, Raise your hand, and if you're not, I'll tell you what it is. Basically, they punch a couple holes, a couple wells, and they run fluid down in the wells uh, in a closed loop, of course, kind of like antifreeze type of thing, and it, it's called a water furnace. So what it's doing is it's pulling that 58 degrees from the earth, and now you're only heating from 58 to 70 instead of from maybe 20 degrees outside to 70 you're actually pulling the, the heat out of the earth and converting it. Of course, in the summer, it's really cool because it's coming out 58 and you only need 70 or 75, whatever, right? You get the idea, it's called geothermal. And what's the benefit? Well, not only is it just about silent, but the um, people really enjoy the really low energy bills. So this house is, I don't know, 4,500 square feet or whatever, I'll put it down here, two full levels, the entire joint with the lights, the heat, the cooking, the uh, laundry, the heat and air, everything, $150 to $200 a month total. That is kind of hard to beat. My electric bill is $300 a month where I live, and, uh, and then I pay heat on top of that. You don't have that here 
you know, you've got a $30,000 system that's only a few years old and that's going to pay you in spades year after year. A little half bath there, laundry here, tile. And then, of course, it's got a little mud sink over there, a little area here. These people are way too organized for me. The two-car gar, all nice. Uh-huh. Operators, got it all. They even have a finished ceiling. Look at that with all that. It's got, like, knockdown. All right. Let's see the MBR. What is this? Oh, that's the, the going downstairs. We'll, we'll hit that in a minute. Master bedroom. And then Ken tells me that these, uh, these built-ins here can be taken out easily if you don't want them. Or maybe you do want them. I don't know. You might put a little fireplace there and a TV. I never understood a TV in the bedroom, but a lot of people have it. So it must be something. Shower. Very cool bougie tub. Love that. Matching marble sinks. This is the real marble. That's the real deal. It's like the um, old school marble, you know, like uh, the old Italian marble. It's beautiful. I don't know what you call it, but it's beautiful. This closet here is big enough for home office. Easy. So if you wanted to even throw a little home office here, or your walk-in closet, or whatever you wish. And of course, we got another one on the other side. Do you love this? If you love it, give me a thumbs up, or comment if you don't love it, and tell me what you would do to change it. We all know what this is, the WC, and then more organization here in the, in the coat, in the, um, what do you call that? Closet in the bathroom, that's what you call it. Another walk in here. All nice little details. Even these are these are sweet. You like those? I do. All right. Now, what you've all been waiting for, you want to know where we're going to put mom and dad, right? Oh, and by the way, there's a, a in the attic. It's all floored. Ken tells me. So if you go up there, you'll be floored. Oh my God, the lights. Got two more lights on. All right. Hardwood steps. And then also uh, all cut stamped, not stamped concrete, just cut concrete. It's, it's uh, scored so it looks like tile, but I believe it's just, uh, just the concrete. This room has an 11 foot ceiling. So what do you do with the 11 foot ceiling? You buy a trampoline for the kids. They won't knock their noggins on the ceiling. That was a joke, but sort of not really. Look at that. Very nice. I love it. Let me see if I can turn these lights on from here. So everybody's got different needs. Everyone's got a different, different situation. But I think I was introduced to uh, Grandma and uh, grandma, who's like my age, uh, she or less, and she lives down here. How fun would that be? You've got someone to help you with the kids. The kids grew up with their grandparents who are not on the other side of the country. They're right here. Full bath. Let's see what we got. I got to turn all the lights on here. Hold on. All right, so I came down here, just to give you an idea of what's going on. I came down here, and then this bath comes right in here. So you kind of like a Jack and Jill bath. You can use it if you're just down here horsing around. Or you can use it here right off the bedroom. Don't want people to walk in. Close the door. Pretty slick layout. I like it and full walk-in closet. The can lights always make it look nice. Love that. Now, I've been threatened by beatings, death, or worse to not show you in here, but I have to show you. I'm not gonna show you what's going on. I'm gonna point it way up, but 
you have another full bedroom up uh, in here uh, or whatever you want to use it for. I don't know, uh, but they've got stuff. My grandmother, who was probably the cleanest person you've ever met in your life, uh, washer and dryer down here. Uh, my grandmother was probably the cleanest person you ever met in your life. Everybody would say, oh, you could eat off her floors. And of course, she would always say, who wants to eat off the floor? But anyway, we always had a thing called the spare room. I'm going to have to get the computer turn these lights on. Uh, we had the spare room. So it was the spare room. Well, just exactly what it sounds like. You know, just an extra room with all the junk in there. So that's their spare room. Here's the full, full garage. Definitely lawnmower, golf cart. You know, it's full size though. So it's a regular full size uh, dealio. And yeah, you can drive right around the house. Oh, here, let me show you. They turned every light off in this house. Okay. Here we go. So this here, which looks, I don't know if you're gonna be able to see it or not. Looks a little better there is some kind of uh, air humidity handler thing. So there is uh, humidification and dehumidification with that machine and this machine. So you have to ask the owners and all about it. And, and they probably will know because the guy's like an engineer. So this is the water furnace. You can look it up yourself. It's called water furnace. And um, read about it. It's fascinating and you'll love the electric bills. Can you imagine 150 to $200 a month for everything? Let me stop and start this over again. Not even a doorknob on here. You gotta tell Ken, you say, I'll buy that house if you put a doorknob on there, Ken. Make him do it. He doesn't do anything. He just like drives around. Here's the city water, how, how it comes in, the municipal water. Comes in this way. You got to shut off here in case you need to shut off the whole house. Look at that pipe there. That's like serious. What is that, inch? Oh, heck. I don't know whether it's inch or inch and a quarter or whatever the heck it is. It doesn't matter. It's big. That goes in for the whole deal. So you've got at least 10 foot ceilings here, possibly 11. I'm not sure. Um, I will, uh, I'll find out if I can. And if, if not, does it really matter? No. But you could do you could do a wine room down here. You you could have uh, oh my gosh, well pantry like they have here. You got you got room for everything. You have a workshop down here, whatever. The old lady kicks you out. You can stay down here. You get to be my age and married all these years. You think about stuff like that. We don't have a doghouse. That would be it for me. Probably wasn't supposed to show that. Probably wasn't supposed to show that part. I can't wait to see your comments below. Like and subscribe because we've got a number of properties coming on the market that you're going to want to see. Don't forget to go to our website, bluegrassteam.com slash blog for the latest properties we have.